Here you see CS3, uh, Illustrator CS3. Uh, this is identical to other versions of uh, Photoshop. Uh, maybe not so identical to earlier versions, but to later versions, uh, such as CS4, CS5, CS6. If you wish to open an image, uh, you may get a panel uh, that appears when you first open the program. In that instance, you would want to choose the print document uh, selection in that uh, introductory dialog box. Here we'll go to File, New, and then we'll set up our new document. So I'm just going to leave the name, I'm going to leave it unnamed uh, for now. Uh, and then for the uh, document size, let's choose letter, since that is the approximate size of pages in most uh, scientific journals. And uh, we'll use the unit, in this instance, we'll use the unit of millimeters. Uh, and then choose the orientation. In this instance, we want a portrait orientation so that it uh, has a greater height than it does width. And then if you click the Advanced button, make sure your color mode is not CMYK. Make sure it's RGB. Unless you have come in already with CMYK images. In other words, this shouldn't be set to CMYK uh, just because you think it should be because perhaps you're making a poster. Keep it as RGB. Uh, for raster effects, uh, I would choose the high. This can be changed later, and I'll show you how to do that in the video uh, for saving uh, figures, saving, uh, saving documents out of Adobe Illustrator. And then we'll leave everything else the way it is simply say OK. So you'll notice that this new document has a line around it, uh, an outline, and that's the size of the letter page, and it's also referred to as the artboard. And so that's all there is to opening up an, an image. Now, obviously, if you're making a poster, then you would set the size to something other than letter. You'd make it uh, much larger uh, to the dimensions that might have been given to you uh, by your poster provider. And uh, if you're doing a figure for publication, uh, start with this size and then toward the end uh, I'll show you how to, in the saving portion of the videos uh, on Illustrator and making figures in Illustrator, I'll show you how to save uh, smaller or save cropped images to the exact size that you want them reproduced.